This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, May the 2nd, 2019. Four birthdays today. First, in 1602, Father Athanasius Kircher, born in modern-day west-central Germany, he connected with the Jesuits in school and proved to be a polymath. He was just good at everything. He published 40 serious works of scholarship in fields ranging from philosophy to volcanology. His fellows said that his degree was the master of a hundred arts, and he was frequently compared to the quintessential Renaissance man, Leonardo da Vinci, who coincidentally died today, exactly 150 years before the birth of Father Athanasius. His most important accomplishments were in the newly emerging study of the microscopic world. He was one of the first people, and certainly the first in his area, to observe microbes through a microscope. He proposed that the plague was the result of microorganisms and proposed prophylactic equipment like gloves and masks as the way to prevent infection. He also built one of the first magnetic clocks, and he invented the megaphone. The end of his life was overshadowed by the toxic philosophy of René Descartes, but modern people are once again looking at his life and calling him the last of the Renaissance men. He's never been proposed for canonization, but he remains one of those amazing Catholic scientists like Gregor Mendel and Georges Lemaitre, who served as definitive proof that genuine religion is never opposed to good science. 200 years later, in 1806, St. Catherine Labore was born today in Dijon, France. She was baptized Zoe and started thinking about the convent life when her mother died in 1815, when Catherine was only nine. She picked up a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary and said, Now you will be my mother. She joined the Daughters of Charity, founded by St. Vincent de Paul, and began to receive visions of both St. Vincent and of the Blessed Mother. In a vision, she was given an image of a medal, which should be cast and worn, which centered on the Immaculate Conception. The medal would eventually be given the name the Miraculous Medal, hopefully for obvious reasons. St. Catherine spent the next 40 years dutifully nursing the poor and spreading the medal. She died in 1876 and was beatified 50 years later. She was buried in a glass coffin, which was covered by a marble altar. And when the sisters started the process of canonization, they discovered that her body was incorrupt. That is, that there had been no decay, despite the fact that the coffin was not sealed, nor were any preservatives or embalming fluid used. She is the patroness of nurses and of the elderly. Just short of a hundred years after St. Catherine was born, Dr. Benjamin Spock, no relation to the Vulcan, was born in 1903. He was a pediatrician who tried to apply Jungian psychoanalysis to early childhood development. His book, Baby and Child Care, written in 1946, is one of the best-selling books in history. Like many Californians of his era, he responded to World War II by becoming a vigorous pacifist and a social activist. His book and his social profile following its publication advocated strongly that parents should not discipline their children, but should try to become friends with their kids and persuade them to become who they are meant to be rather than to form or shape the child through structure and instruction. Dr. Spock would go on to be blamed by lots and lots and lots and lots of people for producing whole generations of self-centered, undisciplined, and directionless adults. Whether he deserves that blame or not is for history to decide. Finally today in 2015, Princess Charlotte of Cambridge, British royal and fourth in line to the throne of the Royal British Empire was born. For 67 years, the British royal family has been on hold as Queen Elizabeth has become one of the longest reigning sovereigns in world history. Princess Charlotte, though, may well have an interesting adolescence. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.